Hello, hi. So this is Saral here. So I'm starting uh, with the Uber design system of uh, today uh, that we are going to study. Uh, so in a lot of uh, interview questions, I have seen uh, that this question is coming up that how you know the Uber backend system works when a rider presses a button and he wanted to write and uh, he select his he input his source and destination and he select the model or the category uh, that he wanted to write maybe set down or maybe go and he presses that button what happens at a backend and how it the calls reaches to a driver and then from driver how he select or accept that request and he reaches out to the end customers and then they both start a journey from source to destination and payment is being done and get credit into a driver account so I am Saral this side and uh, I will be uh, presenting you uh, before starting uh, uh, just a short disclaimer uh, that this is a creativity uh, question and uh, it depends on individual creativity how it explore it happens that there may be uh, some plus or minus in my design uh, so I am happy uh, to receive a feedback from you if anything is you guys find it out missing it going to add into my knowledge stack okay so let's start with designing the uber backend system uh, first of all <coughs> we need to understand what are the functional uh, requirements for the same uh, since the functional requirements is that the customer can request a ride uh, from his mobile app uh, he get notification uh, of the nearby drivers uh, that are placed and customers is being ready to pick up second is passengers uh, should see I told you that all the nearby drivers there may be some uh, location tracking so that drivers can regularly uh, send their locations alerts to the system and uh, what are the current locations at which driver are there uh, maybe can obviously happens that sometimes the location or the distance between a passenger or a customer and a driver is too minimal so we need to choose from that segment of group or from that area uh, which is divided into coordinates to choose the nearest driver so that the trip can be started as early as possible once a driver and customers they both agree to accept the ride uh, they can constantly track each other location means a driver will be uh, contacting customers through phone or through you know a, a, even the customer can track on the map uh, that how soon the driver is coming up maybe these days uh, push notifications are also coming up when the driver is just one minute away uh, as a sort of alert to the customer and uh, upon reaching the destination driver marks uh, this journey completed there are state of journey begin progress and end so once the destination reaches driver marks it uh, as a completed and he is available in a pool of drivers once again for a next journey so these are functional requirements next push notifications I <coughs> already told you non-functional uh, are that system should be uh, highly available highly scalable uh, both of the combo are sometimes become difficult to achieve but this requires uh, low latency uh, means uh, when a when a customer uh, makes uh, uh, you know he selects source and destination and he presses the button he makes a request then we should make sure that there will be no latency issues should be coming up and it should be globally available this is something a major requirement because uh, we don't want customer to you know to suffer because of uh, scalability or issues or system is down and he's still waiting so these are the non-functional requirements that uh, must be uh, taken care of as I told you that high availability and consistency at sometimes uh, violate the CF cap theorem that we have okay that is consistency availability and partitioning uh, which states that a distributed system can at the same time can either be one thing can be possible maybe it is highly available or maybe it's a constant so we, we don't need to make sure that all the components within the system they should follow <coughs> highly availability and uh, consistent but some parts of it if they follow highly availability scale and consistent that will work for us okay now here you can see a particular image what I am trying to say is that uh, this is a concept of a, uh, a major chunk you can see uh, let's suppose if this is the area okay this is the area uh, let's forget right let's talk about current area so this is the area now I have divided it into 
uh, coordinates of x axis and y axis so i have uh, drawn some vertical and horizontal lines and this is i called a one chunk maybe a one segment maybe a good word actually once you see that when you book a cab you may see that your area is divided into some or between horizontal and vertical lines and then a major chunk is being selected this is being done through google is to library uh, mostly that's what i assume because it also help us it help us to divide an area into coordinates basically coordinates i have tried to divide it because it may be happen that <coughs> my particular my particular area lies between this segment or this coordinate of x axis so it might happen that i am the customer here maybe the cab driver may be at this coordinate of x axis or maybe at this coordinate or maybe at that coordinate so i have to see uh, as per the algorithm that if i am the customer is that driver will have a minimum distance to reach out to me or that driver will have a minimum distance to reach out to me it might happen that sometime we can combine these uh, two coordinates also to form a one big segment so the idea in the mind uh, is that to divide uh, first a particular area then you know slowly and gradually moving out to the city and state and all those things okay so in a rectangular area as i always told that it is an easy to operate and uh, we can divide the things and keep in mind that which are the cabs which are constantly moving from one chunk to another chunk because drivers will keep us sending us the signals okay so later stages i am trying to show a uh, somehow concept of uh, consistent hashing where what i am trying to show is that if two customers are booking the cab one customer is sitting here and another customer is sitting here and there are two nearby driver within this chunk and there are two other drivers which are in this chunk so maybe it happened that this uh, chunk maybe i get bigger than this chunk so we have further divided into further inner coordinates so you can say segment inside another segment and then we are separately operating these segments we can break them them minutely depending up upon our design uh, but intention is that key in a consistent hashing what i am saying that for this particular area there is one server that is operating and for this particular area there is one server that is operating so once we are going for a bigger server we can have a concept of hashing where we say that based on the hashing generated uh, value so range of hashing may be uh, served by this server range of hashing may be served by this server so we can easily you know uh, place our request to the particular servers for the faster response time so this is what consistent hashing what i'm trying to achieve let's move to the last design a bit complicated you see but don't get uh, <laughs> confused a bit i will be explaining it in, uh, from the very first time okay so what i am trying to say is that uh, there is a particular mm, user and these cap smart guys are with the specs are called drivers so what happens is that user has got his app and he plays his request and uh, his request uh, route to the load balancer and uh, within that load balancer uh, which is running on a server particular server is may have a, a security uh, uh, you know enabled with some kind of web application firewall rules must be there so that will uh, prevent it from being hackers and uh, first of all user request use request goes to load balancer and then again request can come again back from server to load balancer it's a two way communication that is happening uh, there is a user service and uh, this user service basically store all the details with context to user and uh, to serve the backend we have a my sql cluster and uh, we have one redis cache to so to have some static data at cache to avoid the necessary db hits apart from this user service we have uh, one user rating service because we see in uber that uh, there are two kinds of ratings one is given to a driver and one is given to a user so if a user is a uh, uh, is using that app from a longer period of time so you know parallel ratings may be given by driver also to that how was the user as user used to give to driver so there is a separate user rating service which has its own db so these two services may have data with context to user and any time we need to trace it out any history of user we can get it from these two services then a user is making a request for a cab and uh, he hit on the button and the request goes to the cab tracing service wherever user hit for any kind of uh, request for a cab what we are doing is that we are uh, making a, 
uh, right now we are making synchronous communications because here we expect uh, you know fastest response we can't go for an synchronous right now between these uh, cap finding or cap trace service but also parallelly we drop an event to kafka later on so that maybe ultimately maybe used by spark hadoop cluster or maybe some logstash ke banner to have some kind of uh, audit and uh, tracing reports of what is the matrices how much request being done by individual users in a day so we are dropping up for activity monitoring in kafka okay so here first again coming to the point that here first uh, user request for uh, to trace out the cab and he make a request to the cab trace service and uh, cab trace service make a call to uh, cab find service okay so cab find the service uh, means you have to find a cab and as i told you that uh, you know you divide the area into uh, some coordinates and some chunks and within that uh, chunk there may be two three drivers may be there in different different coordinates so what we it this service is used to interact with the location service and map service so map service take care of the earlier segment part that i have shown you that within chunk how much driver are there and can we combine the two chunks to make a major big chunk that is the segment and location service is what that the drivers are constantly sending so i have to introduce driver also here because since it calls goes to location service so these are the two drivers and uh, they again make a call the same concept to the firewall and uh, since uh driver sends their signal and they receive a communication from the server and also that you got a request for uh, such and such cab from this particular user so request you to accept it so this is again a two way communication is happening so i try to use uh, web sockets here uh, because i want a communication to be get opened up without impacting its performance so web socket was one of the best way to have a two way communication to remain an open and uh, these calls are again uh, of web individual web socket handlers are going to the load balancers and uh, to maintain each uh, because web socket handler is there for one to one driver so end driver and web socket handlers maybe right now is there so there is a manager which whatever is communication is happening through web socket handler is being managed by a web socket manager okay so here drivers are constantly uh, sending their signals uh, which ultimately here it is being connected to your location service so location service have a uh, location of individual driver which is uh, kind of a dynamic if driver is moving out within that chunk maybe going from that one chunk to another chunk also so it it is tracking that thing and map services is taking care of all the coordinates which we divided out and they are uh, again two way communication it produces a data to the cap finder service and then cap finder service ultimately detects ki okay to the particular user uh, that uh, this is the nearest cap uh, to you and uh, we it submits the driver uh, details to it and at what distance driver right now is coming up all the details come up to the user along with his he can do the text messages to the driver or even he can contact to the driver so the role of cap finder service is uh, being defined by location and the map services now uh, one part you have to note it out uh, that location services map services cap finder services and tracing services okay they all are uh, sending their data to the kafka different kafka topics which will later be used by spark uh, machine learning analytics or hadoop or maybe elastic or logstash for kind of active dashboard monitoring and auditing of reports there is one more service uh, which i believe is here is a driver service so driver service is there just to maintain as we have maintained the uh, user records we have to also maintain the driver records so that uh, you see in the application that uh, when you give a rating to a driver and uh, before booking it you get a short profile of driver that till date how much trips he has covered or Uh, what is the feedback of different customers that he has received so all that uh, part is being maintained here in the uh, driving uh, driver rating service which has its own dedicated db and uh, for individual driver service we are still maintaining a cluster of mysql like for the user service we are maintaining and to prevent unnecessary hits uh, we are using a redis cluster so still date we have used web sockets we have used uh, mysql clusters and uh, we have used redis here 
uh, one more thing that I need to add because I told you that design always based on the creativity it's like a trip survey so it happens that when you open your app a particular user open his app and he wanted to see how many trips that he had covered if he has any challenges for that particular trip he can further go to customer support but I have not made that design till the customer support we can add that same but for the trip services we are maintaining again my SQL clusters and for the current trip and uh, if you wanted to re uh, you know put some archival of the trips that he has taken last year so we can have a trip archival service where we can put all these data into Cassandra okay so the current last 30 days data we can keep on MySQL cluster but more than 30 days data we can dump it on Cassandra and uh, similarly a uh, trip service can be also attached with the driver service but I have uh, make it more comfortable for user because I see in my application uh, that it shows me the trip of uh, last two three years itself also to me uh, one more thing uh, the payment services uh, why I have tried to edit so it may be connected to get some payment gateway these days people are making payment lot of through payment wallets uh, through net banking through debit and credit cards so payment gateway is linked and all the payments related data will be there because if let's suppose user uh, wanted to see that uh, 10 days back I have moved from this city or uh, one hour before which the trip I have took and taken what how much charges are there so all these things are maintained in uh, DB at uh, Uber end also so that uh, you guys can track so main purpose of uh, introducing uh, Kafka related and machine learning jobs is uh, uh, because uh, you wanted to keep track of events if you wanted uh, to make it uh, because Kafka is introduced so for serve some service there may be unsynchronous for some of most of the service there will be synchronous so you have to introduce uh, spark streaming cluster which keep tracks of all the events uh, so that later on we can find it out a particular segment where we have noticed because we also wanted to track that which is the reason where there are less number of drivers are there but the request were more because from the business point mm, this is the thing that we have to improvise so that's what we are uh, using spark uh, cluster jobs Hadoop we are using uh, for analytics and uh, like user profiling or driver profiling so Hadoop will help us uh, there a lot and uh, similarly we have not I have not divide my design uh, if if we wanted to have something like uh, uh, you know uh, a kind of driver put up into categorize as cabs are being put a categorized into go sedan we can also have a drivers into categorize like premium drivers which will be mapped to the premium customer something like this one more thing that uh, I have not covered in my design but you guys can add it out is like a fraud engine because these days we have noticed that driver get a call booked of a request from particular number and then driver cover up that distance and multiple times he get a call from that same number so we could have a fraud engine here uh, for drivers so that uh, if same driver is taking trips from multi for the same user multiple times so there is a chance that he may be his friend or uh, maybe he has some um, another number and he is uh, uh, exploiting the incentives that is being offered by uber so we could trace it out so we can have a fraud engine at that time also so this is again uh, completely uh, based on my creativity i have tried to have kafka analytics payments spark clusters hadoop in this so i tried my best to play with the technology and uh, you guys can add it out anything into it so let me know your feedback on this design and what can i add in i tried my best uh, so if in an interview somebody asks you about it uh, yeah go ahead and explain it uh, i think one of the uh, best things that we can do right now. So thank you. Thanks for attending this and let me know your feedbacks. Thank you. Bye. Bye